One of the challenging parts, but one of the best parts of being a federation uh, is that on a whole bunch of things, different provinces have different approaches. Once the scene of a busy lineup, it's now quiet at Winnipeg's Magic Mushroom Dispensary as it's remained shuttered since police raided it last week. While in the city, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau commenting on the situation and it appears that the feds will be looking to the provinces in terms of regulating the hallucinogenic mushrooms. Just think of drinking age, which is different from one province to the next between 18 and 19. Uh, think of the way they choose to regulate and uh, run their health care systems. There is always going to be a certain amount of variety on many issues across the country and that allows provincial governments to respond to local priorities and local needs. Uh, when it comes to the criminal code, the criminal code uh, is the same right across the country and that's uh, what the government will continue to ensure. Last week, attorney Jamie Kagan, who represents the Ontario-based business known in Winnipeg as Magic Mush, said there needs to be a consistent approach to enforcement of this substance, pointing to how shops selling the drugs in Toronto, Vancouver and Ottawa for the most part have been left alone. All we're asking for is the same opportunities that people in, in Vancouver and Toronto have, which is if they feel this could be a benefit to them, why not? What we're trying to do is say to especially the politicians and the Liberal Party across Canada, enough's enough. We're adults. Treat us like adults. The Magic Mush storefront was raided last week. Organized crime investigators with the WPS arresting two on drug trafficking charges and say the dispensaries are not welcome in Winnipeg. In response to Prime Minister Trudeau's remarks, a statement from Manitoba Justice said the sale of magic mushrooms in Canada is illegal and questions about enforcement should be directed to police, but said the, quote, criminal code is the exclusive jurisdiction of the federal government. We have to be very cautious about just opening the floodgates. Linda Balneves is a professor at the University of Manitoba's College of Nursing and a registered nurse who has been researching the use of psychedelics for medicinal purposes, including magic mushrooms. She says while there is evidence that drugs have real therapeutic value, more work needs to be done before they are fully available to the public, stressing that consistency is critical. There needs to be some federal direction in terms of are we going to decriminalize this? Are we going to legalize it? Is it only going to be accessible through, you know, a medical release program? She also worries full public access coming too quickly would result in the tobacco tobacco and alcohol industry trying to capitalize on the recreational market, with the medicinal properties taking a back seat. The professor says more resources need to be dedicated to researching the drugs and its effects. To truly understand what the therapeutic applications are of things like psilocybin, the potential side effects and contraindications, um, and then how best to produce it in, in a safe, you know, responsible manner in this country. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.